Uh, right, let's get the very latest for you now on the search for the missing teenager, Jay Slater. It's 11 days since he went missing in Tenerife. Well, the mayor of a town close to where Jay disappeared claims that some locals saw the 19-year-old watching the Euros. Let's talk to our reporter, Charlie Peters, who's here in the studio. So what do we know at this stage? Because obviously the, the, the Garda Sevilla are continuing their search in the, the sort of missing zone, if you like, whereas with them we're getting these sort of strange reports about him being safe and well in a village somewhere. Yeah, so the mountain rescue teams are still looking in the rural de Teno area in the northwest of Tenerife, which is that mountainous, very rocky, cliffed area in the northwest of the island. But at the same time, we've heard yesterday from the mayor of a town three and a half miles south of that area saying that there was a sighting, a possible sighting of Jay Slater, the 19-year-old, 10 hours after his phone last recorded his location inside the Marcas area of the island. Now, we understand that the CCTV of that image and the other sightings around it are being reviewed by the Garda Seville, but also by the local town and the police who are there taking a look at it. But it's important to stress that this was recorded 10 hours after he was last heard from and seen on his location on his mobile phone. So it's highly unlikely that it is him, because if it was, then you'd hear from him more regularly than just the 10 hours after. Mm. Now, since then and in the last hour, we've actually heard from Debbie Duncan, the mother mm. of Jay Slater, who's posted an update to their GoFundMe page. Now, they've raised over £36,000, and she stressed that they're working with GoFundMe to safely withdraw some funds, which they can then use to support the mountain rescue teams on the island. She said that they're utterly broken, but very united, and they're not losing hope and believe they will find Jay and be reunited. She's also said that some of those funds will be used to extend their stay on the island, and I've gotten in touch with GoFundMe to work out how they approve that work and make sure that the funds go to the right people. The mountain rescue teams, do you fund the Spanish police? Do they accept donations? Or is this funding some of the amateur investigators who've flown out there to support. Yeah. Well, if you say anything like over here, Mines and Rescue may be volunteers. Mm. So, so perhaps that's that's something to be done. Mm. I mean, oh, on this other issue, this this sighting, it does. And I know police are sort of giving it a little bit of mm. attention. But if it turns out it was him, then it begs the question: Well, what on earth happened to him w within a mm. community, if you like? Right. And. and a third-party investigator who's flown out there to support the family did say in a, in a press conference yesterday that one of the lines of inquiry on the island for his team is the so-called drug underworld on Tenerife, making references to some of the criminality on the island, the other potential avenues of investigation. There have also been questions raised about who Jay Slater spent that Sunday night with on the 16th. Now, he reportedly left the Energy Festival on Sunday night and then drove to a rental property 36 miles north of where he was staying and where the festival was. Why were those two men that he was staying with renting so far away in such a rural and isolated area on the island? Those men have now flown back to Britain. There was some concern that they hadn't been interviewed by the Spanish police. We know after that that the police in Lancaster offered their support to the Spanish authorities. That was rejected because they say they have all the resources that they require. And amidst all of this back and forth and misunderstanding, some criticism of the Spanish police for not having a translator on the island at the time, amid all of that, there has also been a significant amount of social media sleuthing. Yes. These mm. memes and misinformation getting stuck into the rescue effort. Many people stuck on their armchairs doing their own analysis of the situation through TikTok and Facebook, sharing some quite outlandish perspectives, I'd say. Some of these theories that have attracted a lot of attention don't really bear much resemblance to the situation on the ground. And there is concern on the island by people involved in the rescue that that could be a distraction. Mm. The Spanish police aren't saying much on this. And I think what's revealing is that they are still searching the rural de Teno area, that isolated area northwest of the island where Jay Slater was last seen and heard from. Mm. OK. Charlie, for now, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Hugely, hugely worrying. Mm.